Hi Anatters, I'm often talking about <clears throat> savoring the little things and it has also some kind of a basis in a miracle I am going to tell you about today. This is the true story about my mother. When she was born in 1940, it was the beginning of World War II. And several days after her birth, they noticed she closed her eyes for bright lights. And when they started to examine her and her eyes, they found she had a very rare handicap. She was born without her irises. Those are the colored parts of your eyes. They are pretty important for your eyes as they regulate your pupil, which is the black part of your eyes and it regulates the amount of light that comes into your eye. Hence the fact that she closed her eyes when the curtains would be opened. As she grew up, she had many surgeries and my Grammy tried to, but my Grammy tried to give her an as normal as possible upbringing. She grew up as a very strong woman and she was always feeling the urge to be treated normal and even though this was playing a very big part of her life, she always kept pushing herself. But sadly, her eyes were deteriorating. Slowly, her view went out like a candle. And in the end, she was almost blind and only could see day or night time. Don't get me wrong, it was a lifetime struggle. She is such a creative and artistic woman and slowly she had to give up her textile art making and ended up with knitting striped sweaters for her grandchildren. Nothing wrong with that, but she used to weave and make beautiful wall hangings. So let's take a jump fast forward and there she was. 76 years old that was about seven or six or seven years ago so when she at that time she made a very fierce decision probably probably the best one of her life she searched for a dog that was specialized in her birth defect and that professor made the difference she said she wanted to try a last surgery. So there we were. It was a very cold and windy morning in January. The day before she had her surgery and they put her in a bright room and started to take off her bandage. Slowly her eyes got used to the light and then it started. She looked around. I was keeping my breath and then she started. <gasps> I see five lights on the ceiling and the blue chair over there. <gasps> oh, and Esther, I can see you. And she waved. We were both crying our eyes out. That morning was one of the most precious mornings I have ever encountered. She looked at flowers, saw the stripes in her shawl, saw a yellow door with a round window, saw her checkered blouse and said, holy shoot, I look like a lumberjack. Every minute was filled with her O's and R's over everyday life. She showed how amazing everything around us is things we take for granted, how we can enjoy all of this and how precious it is that we can see. That morning she showed me even more how being grateful for everyday life should be. Until today she savors every moment she can see because she always says you never know when it will be gone again. She watches the season, the snow, the leaves turning yellow and red, the sunset, her orchids, orchids at the window. Every day, everything. And that is what reminds me to be grateful and how much I love to see the 
little things around me and how much I'm thankful for that. Being grateful every day is giving yourself the chance to see all those little things around you no matter what happened to you in life. It's important to enjoy these moments, to feel more happy and more fulfilled. It creates an upward cycle instead of a downward, like depression and anxiety. It helps to stop you to feel like a victim and to feel the power within. To give it even more power, you can use being grateful in your journaling. Like today, I tore up a lot of pages that I wrote. <clears throat> you can even use being grateful in your art making or as an inspiration for that. This is not your normal art channel. It's not about beauty nor about perfection. I try to show you it's not about what you create, it's the fact you do create for and to enable your own well-being. I'm convinced that this form of self-care is helping me every time. You can use words, you can use color, you can use mark making, anything will do. Allow yourself to make ugly things. It's okay to miss mistakes and it's very much okay to create a mess. It's all about the use of art and creativity as a mindful practice and to create a moment in the present every single day to enhance more happy and a fulfilling life. You can rate my art as beautiful or messy or ugly I don't edit it, I show you what I make, and that's it. If you like what you see, please follow my channel, and you are always welcome to give me a thumbs up. I wish you a lovely day. Think of how you can change your mood with being creative and being grateful in any way. It doesn't have to be painting, it can be pottery, writing, poems, or even dancing. Last but not least, Try to be aware of the beauty of the little things around you. Everything you can see can be a spark of inspiration for your cre creativity. I hope you will create something today. Well, that's it for today. A big hug from me and bye bye for now.